Eastside Coffee House is closed down after eight years in business. Yes, News 4 Tucson's Stephanie Weaver spoke with the owner who reluctantly made the emotional choice. It's new at six. Yes, owner Mario Master Simone closed Savano Coffee's doors Thursday after years of fighting city code violations. But the city of Tucson says they were just doing their job. It, it was one of the hardest things I had to do to come in. The employees were here and they had no idea what was going on and I came in and I locked the door and I told myself this is the last time we're locking the door. And we, were, we all covered the windows and took the sign down together. It was very hard. According to the city of Tucson, violations included noncompliance with existing zoning of residential and commercial space and license requirements. The coffee house's door and social media posts state the city of Tucson forced them to shut their doors. However, the city of Tucson says that's not the case. The last thing we want to do is shut a business down. In fact, I don't know in my career, 20 years of the city, that I really know of that happening at all um, on behalf of the city unless there were egregious violations. What would be your response to the city saying, we did not shut you down, you closed your doors? I would say that that was 100% true, and I did it because I just couldn't deal with the fight anymore. Master Simone says that he meant that the city forced their hand, and he hopes the city finds a better way to work with small businesses. For people who aren't that familiar with the code or are trying to just run their business kind of in a mom and pop operation, um, code can be challenging at, at times for them. Again, Planning and Development Services is always willing to work with those individuals. We're always willing to have them come in, uh, do plan review. Master Simone says they are currently looking for a new location, but not in Savannah. We're more than willing to work with the ownership to help them come into compliance and make sure that they're operating in a way that protects life, health, and safety and meets all those legal requirements. The Savannah Neighborhood's HOA Activity Center will be hosting a public discussion Saturday called Save Savano Coffee House. That information will be on our website, kvoa.com. Live from the studio, Stephanie Weaver, News 4 Tucson.